Okay, here's the issue at hand and here's the proposed solution. Um, I have a single object that was animated in Blender that has two animations that have nothing to do with each other. I have a shotgun deploy, which of course doesn't play because my animation tree is enabled. Shotgun deploy, and I have magazine deploy. Okay, here's the problem. For some reason, when Blender exports the animation, it insists on inserting these starter frames into bones that have nothing to do with this animation. I don't have these frames in Blender. They were exported automatically for some reason. So I, I want to be able to operate these animations independently. Um, so clearly I can't disable this because Godot doesn't do changes to imported assets. So I, animation tree seems like the best solution. Now I've just spent three hours trying to figure out how the hell I could do this because neither the documentation nor the available nodes make it apparent that for this use case. You see, I just wanted to make this animation. If I re-enable the animation tree, you can actually see it. I wanted to be able to control this animation independently from this animation. As you can see right now, it works, but the only way it works is because I have hacked my way into using the one shot node for something that it wasn't designed to be used for, which I basically didn't plug in into anything into the shot input. And I just set the filters to use these bones. Took me three hours to do this. Documentation doesn't mention it, but this is a legitimate use case. So my proposition, why not add an additional node called filter node? The only thing it does is it has an input, it has an output, and it has a filter button. It literally does what this node does, except it's actually built for that particular purpose. Because again, I've just spent three hours trying to figure out how to do this, and no documentation mentions it, no YouTube videos mention it. It's a legitimate use case. Now, I'm sorry I can't provide you with uh, implementation code. I know you guys don't like people offering feature suggestions without providing some sort of implementation code, but I think it's kind of a no-brainer. Just take this node, copy-paste it, remove all this extra stuff, leave the filter in. The presence of the node and the name of the node itself will be self-communicating. Okay? Sorry, it's frustration. Three hours on something that's so stupidly simple.